What you're about to experience are my opinions and truths. I'm suggesting their possibilities for you to consider in which you can then come up with your own logical conclusions. To everyone out there in the decoding world, my name is Logan and this is Decode Your Reality and today we're going to be breaking down and decoding the song that's playing in the background, ACDC's Back in Black. So this would be ACDC Back in Black decoded, you know, what does this mean? What does this song mean? Why was it written? What is the meaning behind it? And really, it's about going back into what? The black. And we're going to get into what that meaning is, what it's all about, the band, the whole nine yards. So, folks, here's the topics of conversation for this presentation. In the zero position, the intro, and I'm going to include a page of methods. So, if you're new to this, welcome. And it's like putting a puzzle together, as I always say. So just kind of put the breadcrumbs. Follow the breadcrumbs. You're going to see that we use multiple layers. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so very much for your support. In the number one position, we're going to be breaking down the word black itself. Number two, Saturn's prison song. Number three, electricity. Number four, the band ACDC. Number five, Back in Black, the song itself. Number six, we're going to be even including some Sound Garden in here. Chris Cornell and Company and Black Hole Sun. What does that got to do with Back in Black? Well, you're going to find out. And then in the seventh position, the original lead singer, which is why this whole song, Back in Black, came into existence. It was singing about Bon Scott and the front man for ACDC. And then, of course, number eight would be, what did you see? I always like to ask what you see after I go through these presentations. So, folks, here we go with the methods. And if you want to skip this, look down in the description. I'm going to have the timeline in there. And you can just jump right into the presentation. But nonetheless... We start off with numerology, folks, which is the science of numbers, where letters turn into numbers. And the world that we live in is built on mathematics. So you cannot leave out numbers. So this has everything to do with decoding. And you'll notice that I'm starting off with the word Earth, which is what we all live on. And it's an anagram for the word heart, because if you just jumble the letters around, you can spell out the word heart. Notice it's a number 17, and you're going to see this during the presentation, because this is linked to, of course, gold and goldfish, and I showed this so many times. But notice that when we bring in the second layer, which is real science, the element chlorine is tied to the word earth and you know why are we bring the elements in see folks all of these layers are bridges to then come together and tell the narrative of how this matrix reality works so earth is 17 and then the element chlorine the 17th element is tied to that and then it has an atomic weight or mass of 34.969 It has several, but this is its most abundant. And then we bring in the third layer, which is the ancient tarot system, the tarot cards. And these are showing their ways through symbols and pictures. Notice the 34th card in the deck is the Queen of Wands. And how I got that is through this 
right here. These are the graphics that I've created. If you want these graphics, this is one of the reasons why I'm showing it to you, is just send me an email and I'll send them to you. My email is decodeyourreality at gmail.com. And just request the graphics from me and I'll be happy to send them to you. But notice, this is the Queen of Wands card in the 34th position. And I want to just digress and say that I'm not including the Fool in the 22nd position in this graphic right here. I do have it in this one where it is right here. So there's two ways you can observe the tarot. Some like to use the Fool in the 22nd position. But I feel this has merit as well. And these numbers are going to bleed into one another anyway. So you can read it from both ways. So going back to the presentation, here's the 34th card, the Queen of Wands tied to the element chlorine because it has an atomic weight of 34. It's got 17 protons tied to the word Earth, which is where our starting point came into play. And then we bring in the cards of illumination, the typical 52 cards, including the Joker or Jokers of a typical deck of playing cards. And, you know, these are highly accurate. 90% or higher from everybody that I talk to on the description of these cards and what they represent, including your birthday, is going to be represented by these cards. And remember, there's 52 cards in a deck matching the 52 weeks of a year. There are four suits in a deck of cards matching the four seasons. So these are highly embedded into nature. They're highly accurate and they're directly linked to a solar lunar year. And the, these came first before the tarot cards, according to history. So the Queen of Clubs, being the 25th card, is linked to the Queen of Wands. Wands means clubs. And the graphic for that is right here. Here are the 52 cards of the Cards of Illumination with the zero in the Joker position here. And I've always, you know, there's sometimes jokers, there's two of those, so it'd be in the zero and the 53, but there are 52 cards in a standard deck of cards. <clears throat> and that's linked to this card right here, the 25th cards, the Queen Clubs card, matching that of the Queen of Wands card. And then we bring in the elements of the periodic table again, and now we link it to the element manganese. The 25th element matching that of the 25th card in the cards of illumination. And manganese is derived, its title manganese is derived from magnet. It's magnetic. And then when we go in back into numerology, you see the title of this decode back in black, that equals the number 25. So clearly you can see when you put this puzzle together, using these layers that are all separate back in black means it's magnetic it's very possible that it's feminine dominant and it incorporates the seven colors of the rainbow because red through violet is one through seven and you know we are light being slowed down into physical matter so you know black contains all of the colors of the light spectrum so it's very fitting that all of these layers connect very accurately when you interpret it the right way. And so there is the methods, folks. Now we're going to get into the presentation. And here we go. We're going to be talking about the black, the back in black. And I'm going to be using multiple ciphers of numerology to break this down. And they're all going to fit in the same box anyway. They all go to the same origin. But some of them show a little bit of a different in expression. And we want to break that down. But notice that back in black, again, is a 25. Which is a direct match of the word black sun. Or words black sun. So clearly in the Chaldean, it's saying back in black is going to the black sun. What is the black sun then? Because obviously this symbol here is highly worshiped in many secret societies, in the occult. There's so many layers to this symbol and what it means. And, you know, I have a picture of, you know, kind of a really cool rendition of the black sun. The 25th card in the 
cards of illumination again is the queen clubs card this is an, a rendition that I've gotten created by a great artist named Raleigh from India. I had these cards specially made, but notice that's the Queen Clubs card, the 25th card. And so is this saying that it's feminine? Well, I believe it's androgynous, but of course the Chaldeans claiming that it's feminine. And the Chaldean clearly is saying that the black sun is where you go back into black into, and it's magnetic because that involves manganese, which is the 25th element. Then we get into the septenary. The septenary using the numbers one through seven, and back in black is just one digit higher. Instead of 25, it's 26. And that leads to the card, the king clubs card, which is the pair forming a pair with the queen the royal courtship on the chessboard the king and queen so that's why i was saying perhaps it's androgynous the king and queen and you know remember the club suit is the ma is the air suit and it represents the mind of the cosmos the mind imagine what your mind means the word black back in black is related to the mind of the cosmos and i placed here the original spelling of the ancient israelite god of the torian bible the old and new testament which involves hebrew and greek and of course rome and everything else you want to throw in there but this is the original hebrew spelling of the yod Vahe which is the God of the Old Testament and of course the New Testament because they go hand in hand. That's the number 26 linked to this back in black through the septenary system. And we're going to be talking about this yod heh vah quite a bit during this presentation. So is this where we go back to? Do we go back to the yod heh vah Is that what it means? So when you bring these two cards together based off the Chaldean and the septenary systems, you'll see that it's androgynous. It's a king and queen, the king and queen on the chessboard, which is why I have the black and white behind them. And obviously this is the empress and the emperor if you bring in the tarot following the major arcana. What about the full reduction? What is the full reduction? It is using the numbers. Let me backtrack. Let me show you. It is using the numbers one through nine, which is right here, using the numbers one through nine, and then it repeats. And this is called the Pythagorean or full reduction. And back in black using that cipher is claiming that it's a 33. 33, of course, is linked to the Christ and the death of the Christ. It's linked to the 33 steps in Freemasonry. It's linked to the vertebrae you have in your spinal cord. And it's littered all over many of the things that people are decoding in sports, music, etc., etc. <clears throat> but notice using the same cipher. The new age name of the yod heh which is Jehovah, is the number 33. And you know, the Christ, what did the Christ say? No one gets to the Father except through me. Who do you think Jesus' Father is? It's the new age name Jehovah, which is the yod heh which is the Tetragrammaton, which just means four, the square, the box, the cube that we're in. Chronos Saturn's magic square, which is if you look at your calculator or dial pad, you'll see Saturn's magic square. It's right there. Every time you use the calculator, you're using Saturn's magic square. And then we bring in the English using the numbers one through 26, matching the letters A through Z, A, B, C, one through 26. And that is claiming it's the number 69. And when we use the same cipher to break down once again, the new age name of the yod heh which is Jehovah, it's a direct match, 69. So this cipher is claiming that when we go and return to the black, because folks, listen, you may claim to be a light worker, you, I don't, I don't realize, I, mean, I don't think you realize what that really means. See, you work in the light. You're not a light worker. You work in the light. That's the more 
accurate rendition of what you want to describe yourself as. Because you see, there's nothing light about you. You give off energy and vibration, but if you turn the lights out and you go into a pitch, ba pitch black room, no one's going to see you. So you work in the light. You will return back to the black, which is what this presentation is all about. It's, and now it's defining where do we go and what is the black. And so far, you know, I mean, if we had to tally up points here, it's the Yode Vahe in the lead here with this decode so far of back and black. And you know, the 69, when you go further, 69, of course, is the classic yin yang using the numbers. And you know, there's the symbol right there. And so, you know, when you bring in the 69, of course, it's linked to the astrology sign Cancer, which is the crab, which runs the heart chakra because it's zodiac sign number four. And the fourth house in astrology is all about home. Home is where the heart is. And so, I mean, is that what this character runs? This deity, this, and this is Jehovah's, the Yodei Vahe is the demiurge in the Gnostic traditions which is linked to Yaldabaoth, and we're gonna be getting into the Yaldabaoth character. But clearly it's saying back in black is gonna send you right back into duality. Right back into duality. So is this interpretation saying that perhaps the black is the earth? Because folks, remember the earth, which I'm just gonna highlight this. See, you see the earth does not give off any of its own light. It is completely black. It depends on the sun each day to rise, the, sa the rising savior, to give light and to feed it. And it will rob the sun's light because it's black. So clearly the possibility is the black is earth. And we, this interpretation is indicating that we are in a loop and you will return back through reincarnation and you're going to keep coming back and coming back and you are stuck. Now, I know that's a hard pill to swallow. And again, I'm not saying it's true. I'm not saying that's true. I'm saying it's a possibility, something that we cannot leave out. So when we go a step further to bring in other layers to support this 69 in the dualistic back and black, notice that yin yang is the number 17, which is a direct match of the yod heh vah -He, the four letters that describe the ancient Israelite God of the Bible. Clearly yin yang and the yod heh vah -He are in bed together. And then the 69 is in bed together with the new age name, of Jehovah right there, which is the yod heh -Vah. I mean, it's just kind of a, a watered down version of what the Jews call the GD, the yod heh -Vah. So then, you know, let's start to break down the word black because it, we're going back in black or it's going back into the black. So the black is the real standout here during this presentation and the song. I mean, again, ACDC, they're singing about their leads, their ex lead singer because he died. And this song was in tribute to him. And they're saying he's going back into the black. I mean, when you close your eyes, folks, you, you know, when you die, you close your eyes. You don't see anymore. You go back into the black. You don't go into the light. I don't know where people's mindsets are when they say, I'm going to go to the light when I pass on. I mean, no one's been able to prove any of that. The only thing that we can really talk about philosophically is the two colors. And then what happens when you close your eyes, when death kind of enters your doorstep, because you definitely don't see any light. When you close your eyes, you enter the darkness. And if you're talking about theology in the book of Genesis, it clearly says that the earth was a void and it was dark. And then God said, let there be light. So light came second, not first. And you know, when you're in the womb, in your mother's womb, there's no light in there. There's no night light inside your mother's belly that you can turn on. You're in the complete darkness. 
So just remember that, folks. Let's, you know, if it's a duck, let's call it a duck. Let's not try to dance around and call it something that it's not. You're born from the darkness, the black, the void, the nothingness. And in the English, it's a 29 black, the word black, which of course you can reduce that down to a number 11, which ends up being a number two, which is duality, right? Two is one and two, it's white and black. So it's very fitting that this word is a 29 and that's linked to the Gnostic Demiurge titled Yaldabaoth, which, you know, here's a great author's rendition of it. Got another rendition here, but folks, it's clear to me anyway, that the Yaldabaoth character is the yod heh vah they're, the, they're one in the same. Which of course is why, you know, here you have the planet Saturn and Kronos and Father Time. It, they're all the they're all the same. They're they're the only reason why it's separated is because somebody had the the bright idea to call it something else. They probably didn't like the way that was, or no, I think it should be this. But I think the illusion is the separation of all these things. But when we bring them together, clearly you can see that the story is the same. The origins all lead back to the same source. Through these examples. Then you bring in the Pythagorean one through nine for reduction cipher and black is the reduction of the 29. It's the number 11. And here's where it gets super interesting because the number 11 is tied to the number 89. Notice using numberempire.com that the number 11, the number of the 11th Fibonacci number is tied to the 24th prime number and it's tied to the number 89. 89 is the 24th prime number and the 11th Fibonacci number. I call these prime Fibonacci numbers and there's not many of them in the world of numbers. These are rarities, folks. And when something's a rarity, it stands out. When something's popular, it gets watered down. It's not a rarity anymore. These are rarity numbers. And you'll notice that in the English, the Yaldabaoth character, the Gnostic Demiurge is in number 89. So it literally is connected to our X chromosomes, which is why I have a picture here, because the X is the 24th letter in the English alphabet. And then it's tied to the 11th Fibonacci number, which is all about doubling numbers. So this cipher here, using the numbers one through nine, is just saying it's, pretty much Yaldabaoth. And 11 is the number of magic. It's the number of alternating current. You know, when you plug something into the wall, it's going to look something like that. It's going to have two prongs, maybe three, but a lot of the things we plug in are two prongs and it's considered the alternating current, which is where ACDC and the reason why they have the lightning bolt there, it's alternating current, direct current. It's all about electricity. And this number is all about electricity. The septenary has the same outcome. It's also a number 11, which is tied to Yaldabaoth once again. So again, you know, back in black is tied to the yod heh vah but the black itself is tied to Yaldabaoth, which is why I feel the Yaldabaoth and the yod heh vah are the same character, just packaged differently. And then when you bring in the Chaldean, same exact formulization here. It's the number 11, which again, leads right back to the Yaldabaoth character, folks. So you can clearly see the strong standouts of these demiurges that the Gnostics claim and the, the, you know, the Judaism religion in the New Testament, Saturn and Kronos and the yod heh the Tetragrammaton, it's the same character, Yaldabaoth, which, you know, I showed in my decode of the Pope and, um, and Yaldabaoth itself, that decode, that the Holy See and the Vatican Church is completely in bed with the Yaldabaoth character. It's completely in bed with it using these methodologies. Now, if you don't believe in numerology and if you don't believe in numbers, and you don't believe in science, our chromosomes and biology, well, by all means, you can you know, dismiss this information that I'm giving you. 
But clearly you can see that numbers speak truth and science speaks truth. And when you connect them all together, it forms a strong story that is more believable than someone's opinion that's regurgitated from stuff that they found in a book that someone else taught them. What about the string of pie? I've been showing this over and over now how strong the string of pie starts to tell the story. And folks, you know, the black sun, I mean, the sun, the earth, it's round. No matter if you believe it's a globe, if it's flat or concave, it doesn't matter because it's round. It's a sphere. And we are living in pie. Earth is pie, which is, pro which is one of the reasons why I feel that earth is the, it could be the black sun because it steals energy. It doesn't provide any of its own light. But I definitely know that Earth is pi. We live in pi, the infinite potential of numbers. Like everything can be measured. And the number 89 through the string of pi, it appears at the 11th decimal digit of pi. So not only do you have 89 as a, as a prime Fibonacci number being tied to our X chromosomes and the 11th Fibonacci number, but the number 89 appears at the 11th decimal digit. It occupies 11 and 12, which is 23. That's linked to the crown, but it starts at the number 11 and that's tied to the number 89, which is Yaldabaoth, the Gnostic Demiurge that they claim keeps you stuck in this time loop which is why I have the decode coming out called Prison Planet. That's going to shake a lot of people. It's going to shake your tree, trust me. So when you do the alchemology of the word black, and if you're new to this, what is alchemology? Alchemology is taking the alchemy, blending these energies of these elements together, and we get them derived from the numerology. So it's called alchemology. And black is a five letter word. Here are the five elements linked to the numbers from the letters of the word black. And when you go over to the trusty calculator here to the right and you add up those elements together and blend them, it becomes the number 23.046. 23 is linked to the word crown. It's linked to the word blood. Blood equals 23. History equals 23. And again, I go back here and, you know, 89 appears at the 11th decimal digit of pi, but it occupies 11 and the number 12. And when you take 11 and 12 and you add it up, you're going to get the number 23. So clearly the, the strength of these modalities combined together form a narrative that to me are, you know, they're really... What's the word I'm looking for? Undisputed. That's the word I was looking for. Undisputed. Because I have yet to find a methodology that will clearly define our matrix reality stronger than what I'm showing you using all these layers that I bring to the table. And I'm not here to toot my horn. I'm, I'm not looking for metal or something to pin on my chest. I'm not looking for a pat on the bat, folks. I'm just showing you what I've discovered. And it's part of my destiny. So I'm sharing it with all of you. If you don't want to accept this information, I'm not here to force it on you. I don't really care. It's not my job to force anything. Force ends in force and resistance. I'm not looking for that. I'm just giving you possibilities and then it's going to be up to you to decide what you want to believe. But clearly black using alchemology and I've shown how accurate this is. Now, this is not just some kind of one hit wonder. I've shown it through countless people. Wait till I show you Lady Gaga. I'm decoding Lady Gaga right now. Oh my. Wait till I show you her alchemology. It will completely floor you when I come out with it. But nonetheless, black, 11, it's tied to the word crown, it's tied to Yaldabaoth. And when you say 23046, when you speak that spell, here it is through numerology, 23046, it becomes the number 91, which is linked to the element protactinium, which means the first, that's what it means. And the 91 is the battery, 91 equals battery. Battery equals 91, battery equals 19. We are a battery, folks. The black is a battery. It contains everything within it. This song off this album, Back in Black, the song itself was released on December 21st. You know, I didn't even see this 
until I created this graphic, but December's the 12th month and the 21st day, if you reduce those down, folks, what do you get? 33. 1221 is 33. And that's when this song came out. Now, remember, here's the producer of the song, Robert John Lang. He was born on November 11th, by the way. That's an 1111. But, you know, is this the guy that decided when this song was going to be released? I don't know. But I know man's being used. Man is being used, folks. To what level, I don't know. Now, that may piss a lot of people off because you're like, well, wait a minute, if I'm being used, then what's the point? Well, the point is, is to find your true power, folks, not just to sit there and say, oh, well, and throw your hands up. Some of you are not living out your true purpose. Many of you are not living out your true purpose. I would even say, I'm going to even say 90% of the world's population are not living out their true purpose because they've been taught that this is from the devil. They've been taught, you know, stay away from that stuff. And it's because if when you find your true power, you're going to take off like a rocket. But nonetheless, folks, look at this. This song was released on December 21st. This is the December 21st card. And let me just digress and show you. Here's the boilerplate chart of the cards of illumination. Your card will be in here for your birthday. Here are the 12 months and then the 31 days running vertically on the left-hand side. And December is the last row. We're going to go down to number 21. And there it is. It's the 10 hearts card. That's when this song back in black came out. The 10 hearts. Now, what's really interesting about this card here is that the movie, the matrix that came out in 1999, the guy that was the voice of the machine city was a 10 of hearts card. And the 10 is, of course, the binary number. There's, there's not a number like it. It's, I mean, all numbers, there's not a number like it. But the 10 is the 0 and the 1. It's androgynous. Notice that this card is showing 5 hearts here and 5 hearts there. That's the 55. And 55 is the 10th Fibonacci number. 55, if you watched my little small decode on Rat in a Cage, 55 is called Secret Destroyer. Secret Destroyer is 55. That's linked to this card right here. This is a fire card. Hearts means fire. Notice 10 hearts when you say it this way right here. It becomes the number 21. And that's linked to this planet right here. Saturn, Father Time. Saturn is 21 through the Chaldean. When you use the English, it's the number 93. And the strong tie-ins for these two right here is through the string of pi because clearly the 21 is linked up with the 93. The numeric string 21 appears at the 93rd decimal digit of pi. So we know that the 21 and 93 using the string of pi, which completely is going to tell you the truth. There's no way to fib on this. There's only one way to observe the string of pi and that's locating the numbers. But the 21 clearly is, is linked to the 93. And this, this whole rendition right here, and when this song came out, and of course 33, 12, 21, clearly this is saying to all of us that the black sun is none other than Kronos, Father Time, which is why the, you know, the Old Testament is all worshiping Saturn, the cube. That's why they have the cube on their forehead, some of them. And that's not putting anybody down, belittling any religions. I'm not here to do that. I don't really care what you decide you want to do. I'm just showing you what the numbers are expressing. I'm non-judgmental. I stand in a layer of neutrality, which I suggest all of you do as well, because everybody's just playing out their part. You just got to know yours. What about the length of the song? And again, you know, how can a producer sit down with a band and say, you know, it's got to be this long because it has to match up with these elements because these elements link up to this in pi, which links up to this word in numerology. Folks, do you see how crazy I sound when I say that? It's just not possible for man to be doing this, which is why I keep saying man is being used. We're being used to fulfill an agenda. That's why you should know your power so you can have the best experience during this whole agenda. Nonetheless, notice that 415 is beryllium and phosphorus. This is one way to observe it. And when you add up beryllium and phosphorus and you do the alchemy, it's 
9.012 plus 30.974. You're going to get 39.0 dot, 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 dot. But 39 is the standout on the masculine side. And when you go into the string of pi, notice the number 39 is located at the 43rd and 44th decimal digits. We know, we know that, you know, uh, uh, gold, the gold current is linked to the number 44. And the 39 is linked to the Christ. Christ. The word Christ, its alchemology is 39. And then we bring in geometry. We bring, we bring in sacred geometry, which is, again, this is nature, folks. This is stuff you can't try to tamper with. And this is nature. And, you know, when I come out with this prison planet, it's going to blow your freaking doors off. Because I found, found some anomalies no one's ever found. I'm excited to share them with you. It's going to open up a lot of doors for people. But notice, you know, octahedron. What is the shape of an octahedron? Well, it's the two pyramids put together. It's, you know, that shape right there. And we're going to come back to that in a second. But the octahedron is two pyramids put together, which is where the, the, the one dollar bill and, you know, the all-seeing eye on the back of the dollar bill, that's where that comes into play, folks. And this song, the, the total length of it is linked to this shape through these modalities, which is linked to the black sun, which quite possibly could be the planet Saturn. So yeah, here is part of the prison planet decode I got coming out. I've already released this graphic, but notice that octahedron is kind of like octopus. And that octopus is, you know, revered and celebrated throughout the world. It was in the 2012 Olympic ceremony. They had a big tribute to that. And, you know, it's a 43, which 43 is a special number. It leads to the number seven, which, of course, is the, num the, the colors in the rainbow. And it's linked to this card right there, which, you know, these, these are the medicine cards. There are 52 cards in a deck of the medicine cards. And instead of using, you know, like clubs, suits and stuff like that, it uses animals and insects to do its expressions. And 43 is the spider card. And that this clearly is telling you that this shape, this all seeing eye is spinning its spider web through the color spectrum. You know, we take in light. And that light can be an illusion. And the, clearly this is saying with this rendition right here, this song is the back in blacks going back to the octahedron, which is tied to Saturn. And, you know, here's, here's a piece of another graphic I did for Prison Planet coming out. I'm not going to go into too much of this, but notice it's a, 20, it's a double 26. Prison's 26, Planet's 26. Here's the original spelling of the yod heh vah the ancient Israelite God of the Holy Bible, the Old Testament. And then the word God is 26. So a double 26 linked to the yod heh vah linked to the word God. That's why I don't like using this word God. Like people say, do you pray to God? No, because I don't like using the word. It's too vanilla, too popular, too many meanings. It's tainted as far as I'm concerned. Another way to observe the length of this song is by adding the numbers together. The 4 plus 15, it's going to give you the number 19, which is linked to this element right here, potassium. And potassium is the 19th element, and that is linked to the word battery. And, you know, the 19th card in the tarot deck is the sun card. And since we're talking about the black sun can you see why this has relevance right here, folks? This expression and these connections? Can you see why? We know it's a battery. We know the sun's a battery. Listen, the world is built on physics. It's built on torus fields. And it's only three things, really. It's dielectricity, magnetism, and electricity. And that I'm going to be including in my decode coming out. So what about the band ACDC? what they go by and it means electricity alternating current and direct current that's why the lightning bolts in the very middle notice using all the main ciphers on the world stage these are the four main ones they all are the showing the same exact outcomes so it's universal 
It's the four and the seven and 11. And if you break it down even more, it's the 13, the 43 and the 11. So we have these three elements right here tied to ACDC, beryllium, nitrogen, and sodium. Of course, the 47, the beryllium and nitrogen give all their energy to the sodium, which is the salt bridge. And if you've been following my work, the salt bridge is tied to the Christ. The salt bridge, the, the salt bridge is needed in a battery, folks. The anode and cathode are connected by the salt bridge. That's science. It's not my opinion. Electricity. Battery is electricity. Generates electricity. Here it is. Alternating current, direct current. That's what ACDC stands for. And notice it's pi through the subtleties. It's 31 letters and it's four words. There is 3.14. You can't leave this stuff out, folks. It's important. Totally in numerology, alternating current, direct current is a 107. Again, one and seven are the colors of the rainbow. One through seven, red through violet. What do you think electricity is? And then when you bring in the tarot, you have these three cards. The emperor is card four. The chariot is card seven. And justice is card 11. Right there, four, seven, 11, ACDC. And then when you bring in the tarot, this is a, these are great renditions and thank you. I think it was Roland for sharing this link with me. I found these cards absolutely funny and um, just a great rendition. And I wanted to give a shout out to who the author is. It's this guy right here. His name is Franks or Frank with an X. And this is his art that he designed and you can go check out his Matter of fact, I'm going to leave the description to give him credit because the guy's really talented. But these are his renditions of the Emperor, card four, the Chariot, which has got Marty McFly and the DeLorean and Back to the Future, which the Chariot's all about traveling, and card number seven, and then Batman holding the scales of justice and the sword. Kind of funny right there. You know, the Batman is linked to the three spades card. But anyway, it's a direct match. When you say the Emperor, the Chariot, and Justice, you're going to get 107, which is a direct match of alternating current, direct current, which is linked to the 4711. You see how amazing that is, folks, when you get syncs like that? And this just tells you how strong the story is. Because not everything's going to obviously match up like this. But when it's really strong in the, the matrix in the world that we live in, you're going to see these kind of anomalies. So here's just kind of the recap on alternating current, direct current. Again, it's 3.14. It's 107. When you go to numberempire.com, which gives you the primes and the cosine and the sine wave, it's so many different layers, which I love numberempire.com. The 107 is the 28th prime number. 28 is tied to Lucifer. Lucifer is known as the light bringer, tied to electricity. When you go into the string of pi, the number 27, which is tied to the word current and currency, it appears at the number 28. So currency and current are directly tied through the string of pi and primes to ACDC which is all about electricity. What is electricity? Current and currency, which is what we are, folks. Let's get into the band that actually delivered this album back in 1980, Back in Black. These are the five members. Brian Johnson replaced Bon Scott as lead singer. And this is what they go by professionally. When you go to the album, I don't even know if I have it up here don't think I do anymore because I was going through so much stuff, but this is what they are showing through Back in Black. The album itself. Brian Johnson, Angus Young, Malcolm Young, Cliff Williams, Phil Rudd. Now they all have middle names, so you can decode that as well. But what they're showing to the world is what they go by professionally. And notice through the numerology, their numbers 
are 209. It's, it's not only that, folks, but look at the subtleties here. These guys who came out with Back in Black are 55 letters in 10 words. This is, 55 is the 10th Fibonacci number. 55 is tied to this element right here called iron, and we know 26 is the yod Hey vahe And, you know, the subtleties, uh, male and female. Male and female. Numerology says it's 209, then we go into the string of pi, and that 209, it appears at the 53rd decimal digit of pi. 53, 54, and 55. 53, 54, and 55. You see how strong that tie-in is right there? And you can go and take the 53, the 54 and 55, add that up, and you can break that down even more. But for simplistic terms here, the 53 is iodine, folks. The 209 starts at the 53rd decimal digit. It's iodine, which is part of the I am. This is huge. And I'm going to be coming out with a decode on the 369 because I felt I did a decode on Nikola Tesla, but, you know, not when I was started to research the Roden Circle and the All Seeing Eye again and just the Taurus Fields because I was looking over Santos Bonacci's great work again, I found something that is going to be completely groundbreaking and it's going to blow your doors off. I promise you. Something that's never been found before and it will explain how this matrix works based off the principles of dielectricity, magnetism, and electricity and torus fields and how they all fit in with the all-seeing eye and the number 88 and all that kind of stuff. But folks, this is crystal clear right here. This is what he said. The 369 are the key to the universe. Well, there it is, folks. The I am. What are you? When you say, you know, how many times do you say that? I am this and I am that and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. You're clearly saying what you're going to do. You're clearly claiming something about yourself. I am that I am. Iodine and americium. When you add up and do the alchemy of these two elements, look at what you get, folks. Undeniable. Undeniable. And it's tied to these five band members that came out with the song Back in What? Back in Black. Undeniable. Three, six. Now you know why. The I am, the iodine and the maracium. And when you go a step further, they've already done the alchemy of it. In science, it's called americium iodide. It's a chemical compound composed of those two elements. And I'm showing this because look at the numbers that they're showing. It melts around 960 degrees Celsius. What's 96? That's the yin yang. The density is 6.9 grams per centimeter. What's the 69? It's the yin yang. I mean, I didn't write this stuff up, folks. I mean, this guy, if you could decode this guy, William M. Haynes, that's the reference point. William is the 23rd. W is uh, so many sinks that you can go into. See, folks, man, we're being used, folks. So know your part. Know your instruction, man. Know your blueprint. That's the best way you can win the game. So then we get into the actual album itself, Back in Black. We broke down the song. What about the album? The length of the album was 42 minutes and 11 seconds. 42, of course, is tied to the three spades, which is the upside down cross, part of the upside down cross. And, you know, when you take 42 minutes and 11 seconds and you add them together, you're going to get the number 53, which again is tied to the band members and their names through numerology. So when you go a step further, folks, and you go into the release date, here is the release date of this album. It was on the 25th of July, 1980. 25 July can also be written 7-7, 77. 77 is tied to the element iridium, which is derived from the word iris, which is the Greek goddess of the rainbow. The rainbow contains all seven colors. 
which those colors are derived from the black, the void. The card that's related to this 25 July is the three clubs card. The July 25th slot is the three clubs card. And again, I'm just digressing. Here it is. Here's July. And then you go down to 25 and there it is. Three clubs. So, you know, I'm not trying to pull the wooly over your eyes. We want precision here. Three clubs card. It's card number 16. And the reason why I kept this element right here is based upon the next slide I'm going to show you folks and why this is such a strong tie-in right here when you're seeing it, because this is the boilerplate chart of the cards. If you've never seen this, I'm going to really simplify it for you. There's two sides. You have your, this is your ego called your master life. This is where everything happens on earth. And then over to the left is called your master spirit, which is your soul or your mind. And these are two batteries and there are seven rows going vertically and then seven rows going horizontally. One through seven, one through seven, 77. There are the planets, one through seven. And then this is called the crown line at the top. Now, what I want to point out to you folks is the three clubs card, which is the card that is associated with the release of the date of the album back in black. Now, I want you to notice it's in row number five, which is Saturn's row. And it's in row number three, which is Mars row. So you have five and three. If we were to play bingo and someone said spot 53, it would be right there. And that is right there, folks. That, this is the entire expression is right there, tied to that date, tied to that element, tied to that card, tied to that 53. Tied to the I am. It's part of the I am, folks. It's one half of the I am that I am. Then we get into Chris Cornell and Soundgarden, and I couldn't leave this out because it has everything to do with back and black and what he was talking about. Black hole sun. And you'll notice that black hole is describing the sun black hole and that's a th that's pi, pi is 3.14 but its most balanced version is 3.1 that's why i have pi right there and sun is 14 and notice sun is a 365 day gregorian calendar output It's a total of 45, and this is massive. And we're going to get to that in a second. But folks, it's, it's possible that Chris Cornell was talking about Earth. And Earth being cleansed. And it's, that's the black. Because see, folks, we live in Pi. Make no mistake about it. All of us, we live inside the circle of Pi. That's why it's so accurate when you start to connect the dots. So clearly he's talking about pi. It's right there, 31. And, you know, when you look at this number 45, and I have this coming out in my prison planet decode, and it's, it's folks, it's massive, this 45. And, you know, look, what, what, what president was Trump 45? which, you know, we may not have another one, folks. That may be the end of democracy as we know it because of all this, the scandal and the fraud, whatever, all this big shit show story that's going on right now. We may not have any more presidencies. That may be it. It's very possible. Or the starting point over of something brand new that we've never seen before. But nonetheless, 45, of course, leads to number nine, which is endings and completions. But I want you to notice that when you take the numbers one through nine and you add them all up, you're going to come up with the number 45. And folks, that's pi. Pi contains the numbers one through nine. If you go and look into the string of pi, there's zero through nine. The zero, of course, is infinite potential, but the numbers one through nine are the numbers encased in the infinite string of pi. When you take 45 
and you multiply it by pi itself, the zero, where everything comes from, there it is. Look what you get for an outcome. You get the mirror of the 3.141. It's right there. This is what you get when you add up 45 times 3.14. Well, because you know, 45 is a nine and nine is a repeater. So of course you're gonna get that outcome. But nonetheless, look at the actual expressions of that. Huge. What about that number 45? Well, the number 197 using numberempire.com, it's the 45th prime number. And gold has an isotope called 197. It has a weight of, it's most stable is 196, but it also has an atomic mass or weight of 197. 45th prime number, folks. Gold. We're being mined for gold because, see, gold is where the ticket is. We all have mononatomic mono gold inside of us, but it's the energy. Wait till I show you this Lady Gaga decode because it's all about the gold, her and her producer, and they're all being mined for gold. Their energy. That's what, how it works. This song, Black Hole Sun, was released on May 13th. And that 13, of course, is tied to gold in the string of pi. Go look it up yourself. Go type in 13 in the string of pi and see where it's found at. You're going to get linked to the number 79. Came out that when the gold current. It's called gold death. So the release date is May 13th. And it's linked to this card right here, the six diamonds. And let me show you that again. I want to make sure that everybody knows I'm not trying to swindle anybody, but here is May 13th right there. And then there's May. So it's the six diamonds card. That's when this song came out. And you know, notice the subtleties, 33. Can't leave that out folks. And that's so fascinating, that Six Diamonds, because you see, this is the guy who used to be the lead singer of ACDC and why Brian Johnson and company back in 1980 came out with the song Back in Black because it was a tribute to Ronald Belford Scott, otherwise known as Bon Scott, who he's my favorite lead singer for ACDC. I think he's amazing. I think he was just a natural and I love his voice. I like all their old stuff, but... I want you to notice that, you see folks, this is why I know man's being used. Because you see this guy, he was born on July 9th, which is also written 7-9, which is gold. 79 is gold. 7-9 is his birthday. 1946, 46 is the tree of life. But notice he was born on a six diamonds day. And then he passed on February 19th. And February 19th is the six diamonds card. And again, you know, July 9th, July 9th, there's the six diamonds. And then February 19th is the six diamonds. So this guy right here, not only did he have a birth card of the six diamonds, but his death card was exactly the same card, which is an identical match of the release date of the Black Hole Sun song. And we're talking about the Black Sun and Back in Black. And that's what this guy's song was tributed to. Him, this dude right here. His birthday is gold, folks. And, you know, remember, he died at the age of 33. I mean, again, the subtleties. Here's 33, folks. I mean, it, make no mistake about it, folks. The... <laughs> The results speak for themselves. I don't even have to narrate it. You can see it with your own two eyes. When you do his alchemology, first starting off with his numerology, look what you get. You get the 74, which is linked to tungsten, AKA Wolfram, the wolf, which is tied to illumination, which is the mirror of the 47, which is tetragrammaton. Both of them together equal the 121, which is the all seeing eye. When you do his alchemology, taking his numerology, bringing it into the elements of the periodic table, and then going over to the trusty calculator, I couldn't fit them all here. You can do this, fact check it yourself, add all these elements up. You're gonna get the number 157.151. 157 using numberempire.com is the 37th 
prime number. The 37th prime number. And the 37 is tied to the Jack Diamonds card. The Jack of Diamonds. I mean, you know, this is the United States of America card. July 4th, 1776 is the Jack of Diamonds card. This is the Jack in the Box card tied to Man in the Box and Alice in Chains and all that decode I did. Jack in the Box. Check that out. We're all the Jack. That's why all these Jack, Jack Reacher, Jack in the Beanstalk, and all these words Jack because we're the Jack. ACDC sang a song called The Jack. She's got the Jack. We're the Jack. And you know, I think this is my last slide. No, I got two slides, three slides left. This guy has an illumination numerology and then he dies at the age of 33 from an overdose what history says anyway i think that's what it is cut his life short but here's the christ jesus's name in numerology is 74 which is tied to the 33 there it is encased inside this element right here i've been showing this for a very long time now that the christ and the crucifixion and the numerology of the christ is tied to this element arsenic which is poisonous and you have 66, which is a doubling of the 33. The 33, again, is embedded right in the card right there, which is linked to this element right there, which is linked to his name numerology. You see, folks, see 74 is right there, 74. So, folks, when you look at these layers, ask yourself how is it possible that man could be choosing to die on certain days with certain numbers how could that be possible folks it's just it's i'll give you the answer it's not possible it's not because we live in a fixed reality it's rigged the software was written long before each and every one of us got here and we're just all playing out our part. And there's no way to tell when you're going to pass on. I don't know. So what I'm saying is like, that's not just don't throw your hands up and say, oh, what's the point? Well, go live your life. Enjoy your life. But, you know, decode who you are. So you can get a better grasp of your cosmic blueprint and your true power. Your power is missing because you don't know all your layers to yourself. So here is Bon Scott's birth city in scotland for far and then this is where he passed on in london called east dulwich and i mean you know look at what it leads to is the yin yang and that's right there folks you know i mean it's it's pretty crystal clear how, why these numbers are showing up for this guy and um to, to put icing on the cake this is my last slide before i ask you what you see here are the coordinates, the latitude, longitude, longitude, and I've been showing why you should be knowing what your birth city is and where you're currently located to, to figure out what the energy is that's being delivered. Because we live on vortex, we live in vortexes, we live on ley lines, and the energy from latitude, longitude coming from north to south, east to west. We'll tell you some stories in these numbers for far Scotland where he was born. When you add up 56.6436 north and 2.8891 west and then you add that up with this east dulwich coordinates of 51 blah 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 blah. you're going to get the number of one 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 which is tied to the 153rd decimal digit of pi and if you recall how many fish they caught when jesus told peter to throw the nets overboard on the right hand side of the boat 153 which is tied to the measurements of the vesica pisces 153 by 256 or 265 or is it yeah, 256 this is tied to tin the merger of worlds tied to our dna folks that's why it was 153 because it's tied to our we have 64 possible codons in our dna that's why this is the gd element don't need the vowel you got the gd 64 possible codons in our dna Jesus was a fisher of men. What do you think this guy was being fished for? How much energy do you think this guy got over his span of his career? All those eyes observing you when you're up on stage, all those people talking about you. Every time someone talks about you, you get energy. 
That's why you don't want any, you know, you don't really want to put yourself out there if you don't want any of the juju coming back. But clearly that's what's going on with this guy. His life was owned by numbers. His, his life was owned by a script. He was playing out his part. Just like, you know, Super Mario. I use that analogy a lot. When you grab the remote control and you play out Super Mario Brothers, you control Mario. What do you think's controlling you? You think you have all this free will. And you're just going to run around the world and say, yeah, I can do whatever I want to do. And you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm completely dead wrong in what I'm giving you as of my expressions and truths. But it's crystal clear here when I show you the numbers through not just one layer of pi or the elements, but numerology, latitude, longitude, coordinates, names, alchemology, time stamps. It's crystal clear that we're being used to some certain degree. So anyway, what is it you saw during this presentation? This presentation was a little over an hour long. I'm looking at my countdown right now. And I appreciate all of you that waited till the very end to finish this presentation. I'd love to hear your comments, what you saw, because a lot of you have some great observations. A lot of you are some amazing decoders, and I learn a lot from you. So I'd love to hear what you got to say and to add to this presentation. So that's all I got for today. My name is Logan. This is Decoder Reality, and I thank you so very much for watching.